Welcome back everyone to another review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we are journeying through Old, the newest offering by director M. Night Shyamalan. And this one is a cool idea, but as for the execution, uh, well, before we dive in, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to plug that bell icon to stay notified of our latest releases. Spoiler warning ahead! The film starts off with the Kappa family on their way to a vacation. Prisca and Guy are getting a divorce, but they want to break it to the kids in a gentle way. They arrive at this fancy resort where they're greeted by a clinical looking staff and brought special drinks designed specifically for each individual. The children, Trent and Maddox, make friends with another boy named Edlib and play some sort of message decoding game together. The next morning, the family goes on an excursion to a secluded beach, along with a few other guests. A rapper named Midsize Sedan and his girlfriend, a surgeon named Charles, his wife Crystal, and their daughter Kara, and his mother Agnes, and another couple, Jereen and Patricia Carmichael. After a sunny beach moment, the kids run off to play hide and seek when Trent discovers the dead body of the rapper's girlfriend. The surgeon immediately blames the rapper, but Sedan swears he had no idea. He, she just went for a swim. Sedan's nose begins to bleed and he reveals he suffers from hemophilia. Like an hour later, Agnes and her dog die and the people on the beach realize that they are aging rapidly, the equivalent of one year for every 30 minutes. When they try to leave, they are overwhelmed with headaches and just wake up back on the beach. Swimming away also won't work as proven by the rapper's dead girlfriend. The kids are also starting to grow rapidly, getting too big for their clothes and exhibiting other puberty changes. Charles, for some reason, decides to keep antagonizing Sedan and cuts him, and the group watches as it rapidly heals like he was Wolverine or something. The kids discover some old journal in the sand, but it's filled with coded messages. Then Prisca develops a stomach tumor that rapidly grows, so they perform an amateur surgery right there on the beach, and when they remove it, it's the size of a cantaloupe. Meanwhile, Trent and Kara are now the equivalent of 17 years old, and they decide to get it on, and Kara gets pregnant and is rapidly showing. She tries to give birth, but the baby immediately dies. This causes Crystal to lose her mind, and her husband Charles already has been losing his due to schizophrenia. We find out that Charles just randomly killed Sedan, and then the rest are even more motivated to get the hell off the island. Jereen tries to swim, but drowns. Kara climbs to the cliff face and falls off and dies. Patricia suffers a fatal seizure, and then Crystal, due to her hypocalcemia, has all her bones rupture and reheal in the wrong way, which eventually kills her as well. During the night, Charles tries to kill Guy, but Prisca kills him first. Then the couple make amends as they're now roughly in their 80s and die moments apart. Trent and Maddox are now middle-aged and revisiting the journal that they found earlier. Using the decoding skills that they learned from Midleaf, they decipher that there's a secret underwater passageway through the coral. They decide to go for it, and before we can see if they make it, we cut to M. Knight observing them from afar and marking that there are no survivors. He descends into some sort of lab where scientists are compiling data and working on miracle cures. Basically, the beach acts as a time bubble to let them observe years of the effects of their medical drugs in a matter of hours. So they look for people with diseases, invite them to the island, and basically put them through this unethical test. Well, Maddox and Trent do survive, and just as another group of people are arriving at the hotel. Like, wow! They're really going to put these people through like some assembly line or something? They blow the lid off the whole thing. Luckily, there's a cop at the resort, hmm, convenient, and he starts arresting people. Overall, this film lacked personality. A return to form for Shyamalan, this most definitely not. 
Don't get me wrong, it had many of his trademarks, characters that act stiff and awkward, and dialogue that no one would ever use in real life, and fake pop culture references to make it look cool and modern, like having a rapper named Midsize Sedan, which isn't even funny in the that's silly kind of way. The plot sounds interesting until you see it play out on film. Honestly, cut the third act reveal of the evil company experimenting on people and watching them super age, and keep with the beach being mysterious without anybody escaping at the end, and this would make a great horror film. Alternatively, if you really do want that twist, then build it up more throughout the film, with characters we actually care about, and science that actually makes sense. Not to mention, just like movies like The Belko Experiment or Escape Plan, actually explain how they're able to get large groups of people to this place, kill them off, and bring in new groups without anybody ever investigating the disappearances or going public with anything. Like, I do understand the whole evil corporation has power and money and assassins, but at some point it's just ridiculous and doesn't even work within the confines of the story being told. I mean, a simple solution would just be to recruit volunteers who know the risk and the stakes, and given that there's a safe way to get out through that coral tunnel, test if the test works, and then if it does, they can be free again. I don't know. Overall, I'm gonna give the film a 5.5 out of 10, almost a 6, but when I rewatched it, its pacing is so erratic that it made it a slog to get through since I already knew the ending. But if you're desperate and curious, go ahead, watch it, check it out. But otherwise, feel free to skip this one. You're not missing anything. I do want to thank you all for checking out our video. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to reach out to us, you can do so on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or on Discord, which is linked below. Please also take a moment to visit our Patreon, also linked below. I've been your host, Jackie K. But before I go, if you want to be a writer, whether that's novels, comic books, movie scripts, whatever, make sure that your story makes sense. As a writer, you may have background information of character motivations or plot details, but the audience doesn't know that same information. Now, some things can be left up to their imagination, but if it creates a major hole in your story, then maybe you should go back and add some more details. Let other people see your work, give you feedback, and don't be afraid to receive criticism. Thanks again, and take care.